Hey, what you up to? Oh, I'm just wondering, are you ever going to upgrade that ancient phone of yours? I mean, it's practically a fossil. Isn't that like a third generation phone? And we're on like 15, right? Really, that thing still works? Sure, if you say so, but dinosaurs were also fine until they weren't. <laughs> I would upgrade if I were you. Mm, yes, I'm a regular comedian. I'll be here all week. So what's it like to be all grown up? I know you're not that much older. Really, maybe like five years. But the proof is in the pudding. I mean, look at these old pictures. Your hairstyles, the fashion. Look, you guys were questionable back in the day. Everyone's in business casual. Fashion trends change, I guess, but you know, you could pass as a timeless classic or a guy stuck in a time warp. Mm -hmm. Aren't these photos printed out from your Instagram in high school? No, I swear I wasn't checking it. I just can tell because of these filters. Sheesh, you guys went overboard. Mm, hey, look, if we're being real, Snapchat is the epitome of social media. Come on, Snapchat is fun. You're just jealous because you can't keep up. Fine. You know what? Stick to your ancient ways. And if you ever decide to join the 21st century, I'll be here to guide you through the wonders of modern technology, yeah? You can even call me Professor Luna. <laughs> Seriously though, it's time for an upgrade. That phone is seriously a relic from a bygone era. Did you find it in an archaeological dig? I can practically see the prehistoric era when I look at that thing. I'm relentless? No, I'm just right. You and your stubbornness. Look at this photo of us at the amusement park. You remember this day? Mmm, gosh. I look so little standing next to you guys. You must have been in middle school, I think. <laughs> look at that roller coaster. It looks like it's about to fall apart. Whew. They sure don't make them like they used to, right? Mm, yeah, time sure does fly by. I even remember that day James wouldn't stop talking about the roller coasters. Yeah, that was the day he insisted on trying every ride. Even the ones we were terrified of. He idolized you back then, you know? Mm, yeah. He thought you were the coolest person on the planet. Don't know where he got that idea. But seriously, how's my brother doing? Still giving you a hard time? 
I guess he's your best friend, so you can't complain, can you? Yeah, really. He talks about you all the time. He thinks the world of you, actually. Yeah, for real. Even despite tolerating your questionable choice in music. Look, you've been a part of our lives for so long. I feel like I practically grew up with you always around. Yeah. James has always said he wears anchor, like his partner in crime through thick and thin. Yeah, and you keep wondering why James idolized you? You know, there's something I've been wanting to tell you. I've always enjoyed our banter and the way we can tease each other. But lately, I don't know, I've been feeling something more than just friendship or big brothership, whatever this is. <laughs> Gosh, I, I don't really know how to say this. Um, <laughs> I have a crush on you. Well, mm, it's been there for a while. I just, I didn't really want to keep it to myself any longer. Really? You appreciate my honesty? That's not much of a response. So, what do you think? You've been feeling something too? Oh, um, I just, I felt like I couldn't tell you, and I don't know, I just didn't want to complicate things. So, what do we do now? Look, if it's up to me, I say we take a chance. Life's too short for what ifs. Well, well, well. Look who finally caught up with the 21st century emotions. <laughs> yeah. See now? I'm a trendsetter in all aspects of life, including matters of the heart. No, I did not rehearse that line. Well, maybe I did. <laughs> Things just come to me in the heat of the moment. I just, um, I never thought I'd see the day when you, the master of sarcasm, would be all sentimental. I guess. Professor Luna has taught you well, the art of catching feelings. But you know, it's not every day that I confess to having a crush on my brother's best friend. Yeah, you better revel in your newfound status as the object of my affection. Just don't let it get to your head. <laughs> Stay grounded. Professor Luna's assignment to you. So, we kind of need a plan for telling James about us. Agreed. I 
guess we should just be upfront and honest. Maybe it'll soften the blow a bit. Should I text him? Okay, I guess I'll just text him right now before I forget. Okay, sent. Hmm, you're right. Dropping the bomb via text. A bold move, I guess. Whoops. Maybe it, you know, gives him a heads up without the pressure of an immediate response. Hmm, so when we meet him, we should definitely assure him that, you know, the relationship between us won't affect your friendship with him. And that we've thought this through and that it's not just a spontaneous decision. Well, yeah, be ready for the overprotective big brother routine. He might not take it lightly. Mm, I'm actually counting on it. He's gonna lecture us for hours. Be prepared. We just need to show him that we're serious about each other. Dang, he already texted back. Hmm, here goes nothing. <laughs>